one of the key parts of me enjoying a movie is to be able to identify with at least one of the characters, to have something resonate in me about who they are, that I go, yes, that's kind of me too. That certainly happened in the movie Our Idiot Brother. And yes, it is the idiot brother that resonates with me, that I, I, I identify with that idiot. It's the story of this guy, played by Paul Rudd, who goes through his life in this naive world where everybody wants what's best for everybody else and we are all happy with each other and we trust each other and I trust that you're looking out for me and I'm looking out for you and it's sunshine and roses and puppy dog tails and, and uh, it's an interesting look at how a person like that, when surrounded by friends and family who are selfish and want to take advantage of that, of what that looks like. And, it really meant something to me. It really resonated with me. I should, before I go any further, mention it is a comedy, and it's very funny as well. A lot of that has to do with this amazing cast they put together uh, for this movie. People like, I'm trying to think, uh, Adam Scott, who's from Parks and Rec. He plays Leslie Nope's uh, boyfriend on that, and I'm really fall kind of falling in love with the characters he's been playing lately. Rashida Jones, also from Parks and Rec, is on there. T.J. Miller, who I think is hilarious, uh, is on there. Steve Coogan, who's really funny, is on there. Zoe Deschanel is in this movie, uh, and she's always her adorable little self. Although playing a little bit of a different character in this, um, she's her selfish, adorable little self in this one. And that is the theme of this movie. What is the difference between being selfish and being selfless? And I think the message of this movie is that love is being selfless. True love and truly wanting the best for other people, that unconditional love, is kind of what makes the world tick and what makes relationships work. And when people try to take advantage of that, um, it doesn't work both ways. So I, I really enjoyed this movie. It's one you might want to check out. Again, it's called Our Idiot Brother. It is rated R for, uh, for good reason, so you'll want to research that and check that out. But Paul Rudd is spectacular in this movie, and the character he plays, more than anything, this idiot brother is somebody who, at the end of the day, I think we all could stand to learn a little bit from.